hi guys in today's video i'll teach you how you can control your air conditioner when you are outside your home so when while reaching your home you want to cool your room right so um, i will tell you how you can start your ac by using the iot concept so please be seated and watch the video till the end First I will tell you how this gonna work first there be a publisher like Google assistant when you are sitting in your car and you want your AC to be get switched on in your room so there will be a publisher that is your Google assistant you will give a command like switch on my AC or turn on my AC like before reaching your room like 20 minutes before you want to switch on your AC and you want your room to be cooled so you will use your Google assistant to switch on your AC. what are the basic things needed to work with this guys you needed a node MCU uh, that is the controller and a relay of course and some set of wirings so that you can connect it to the load like AC now let's as you can see in the picture the publisher is the uh, Google assistant and the subscriber portion is the node MCU the subscriber will take the value and the database over here is a Adafruit server the Adafruit server will store the data and your node MCU will subscribe the data and work accordingly now MQTT broker is nothing but the protocol uh, which will work in as an intermediate to communicate which helps to communicate between the publisher and the subscriber now let's move to the circuit section in the circuit section you can see there is a node MCU uh, there is a 5 volt relay module and your load like AC so what you have to do in node MCU I will declare 0th number pin you can declare any any pin guys no worries any digital pin as output pin I will declare 0 as output pin over here I will connect it to the trigger pin of the 5 volt relay module and guys 5 volt connection of node MCU to the VCC and ground to the ground of uh, relay model you may ask doubt which pin is the 5 volt pin you can connect to v in pin of the relay I mean sorry node mcu to the 5 volt relay pin it will give you power of 5 volt directly if you're giving node mcu power through adapter then only you can use the v in pin to provide vcc supply of relay module as a 5 volt now whenever uh, a signal comes from the server like Adafruit server the value at the 0th pin become low why low because 5 volt relay module uh, when it gets a signal of low it will get trigger why if you don't know why such happens just go to the link below in the description check it I have described everything about the relay module so first check this, that video and come back over here now you have to give the uh, 230 volt supply in the common and you have to take the output from the normally open and connect it to the AC load now one more important thing guys your AC may have different type of load like 1.5 kilowatt or kind of 2 or 2.5 kilowatts so according to that you have to choose the relay also in that video I have described what uh, how to check the specification of the relay so as in my room I have connected a relay of uh, no sorry I have a load of AC of uh, 2 kilowatt yes and that's why I'm using this relay model and it has a specification of 250 volt uh, AC with 10 amperes of rating so I can give up to 2.5 kilovolt of load to overhead so uh, if you have a load of more than 2.5 kilowatts so you have to take the relay accordingly so guys circuit connection was easy now let's move to the coding part as you can see in the first two lines i have included the hydro files guys these hydro files won't get activated if you don't have the particular libraries available with you so uh, first let's see how you can have all the library file within your arduino software first uh, I'll given one link in the description go and download the rare file 
from there of all the libraries go to your Arduino page the folder where you have kept your Arduino software go inside click on uh, the library uh, no need to click just paste it over this folder now you can uh, replace it with the new file why because inside the library folder you have all the header file library files so inside that all the functions are available so while doing the coding part you will not get any kind of errors in the future now in the program part you can check that in the second line is written in the double quotes why because in the adafruit underscore mqtt client dot h does not have any predefined library function we are using to publish or subscribe the data from the internet that's why we are using this type of uh, double quotes method in the uh, header file otherwise it may produce some errors now I am defining the Wi-Fi. You have to provide your room Wi-Fi where you are gonna keep your Node MCU. So you have to anyway. You have to give internet connection, guys. Otherwise, your AC must will not get on. So you have to give your room Wi-Fi name, then password in the next line, then server name is your Adafruit server. Now the port number. This port number is particular for the Adafruit server. Now username and key. Username and key you will get once you uh, sign up with the Adafruit server. You will get the username and key in the uh, AIO key section. Okay guys, no worries with that. You will get it easily once you sign up with the uh, website called Adafruit.com. Now guys, in the next line you can see that we have to create objects to get connected to Wi-Fi or then to Adafruit. Again, we have to subscribe the data from the server to switch on your uh, AC. So we have to create three objects. Those objects are ESP, Wi-Fi client dot uh, space ESP. This object is to connect with the Wi-Fi in your room. Now the second object is Adafruit MQTT client MQTT. That MQTT in small is the uh, object so that you can connect to your server Adafruit. Now, uh, by taking the reference of the Wi-Fi, we are giving all the values to your Adafruit server so that it can connect easily with your server data. Now, next to subscribe the data, we are creating an object called feed. We are taking all uh, taking data uh, using the reference of the object of uh, MQTT client. Now. You can see in the double quotes is written feed slash instructions. From here only the feed value which is given through the Google Assistant to the Adafu server it takes uh, it actually publish the data in the instruction for uh, feed. Now you have to take the data from there. You have to subscribe the data from there. So Node MCU will anyhow subscribe data. Uh, now I will show you from how you will get this value like double quotes inside double quotes how you should get this line let's go to chrome and write io.adafruit.com if you don't know how to work with that there is a link in the description go and watch that video I have described how to create uh, an uh, Adafruit server and also how to uh, just make a dashboard in it so please watch that video first now after you have signed up in the Adafruit server now we will create a feed name as uh, uh, in the feed section first you have to click on the feeds then go to action create a new feed now you have to, I will create a feed name with instructions okay you have to create the same if you want to change the name also there is no problem now as you can see in the toolbar there is a slash feeds dots instruction you have to copy that particular section and copy in your program now it's fine let's go to setup section i think everything is clear over here if you have any doubts ask me in the comments i'll help you there now in the setup section you can see the serial dot begin i've given a 11 5 to double zero value because we need uh, a node mc can work on a higher baud rate and this is the up, lim up limit of the node MCU. Uh, now I am declaring the zeroth number pin as the output pin as I told you in the circuit section also. 
again uh, uh, to connect to your Wi-Fi you uh, I'm given like serial dot print and Wi-Fi so it will uh, print your uh, Wi-Fi name in the serial monitor so guys after you dump this code if you don't know how to dump the code in node MC also I made that video please go and see that first link is in the description no worries uh, you have to open now serial monitor after dumping the code in the node MCU check it whether it's connecting with your Wi-Fi or not because that line is Wi-Fi dot begin Wi-Fi comma password it will connect to your Wi-Fi uh, through your Wi-Fi name and password now if it is connected with your Wi-Fi it will return as WL underscore connected once it got connected it will continue without going inside the while loop otherwise it will continue to show you the dot 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 symbol now next line we will check what is the IP address of your uh, Wi-Fi router now it can be a mobile Wi-Fi or anything guys no worries for testing purpose as of now I am telling you it will show you the IP address of your Wi-Fi router which Wi-Fi it is connected in the line called uh, Wi-Fi dot local IP now to subscribe the data we have to take the reference of the subscribe uh, object that is feed now once uh, connected to Wi-Fi we have to connect to the server also to connect to server we have to write while mqtt dot connect uh, using the object of the uh, server of course mqtt dot connect once it is connected it will come out of the while loop otherwise it will continuously print the dot 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 now let's move to the loop in the loop as you can see that I have written while mqtt dot read subscription 5000 why because up to 5 seconds it will continuously sense if any data came inside or not if a data came over here there then it will read and it will uh, print as got now it will also uh, print it in the serial monitor now I am declaring a variable as integer a why because any data which is going to your server will be integer like 1 2 3 so uh, it will be easy to work with any integer value like I have given if I say the turn on the AC so it will uh, my Google assistant will sell the value of 8 to the server Adafu server if I say my Google assistant to switch off my AC it will send 9 to my Adafruit server now int a is equal to a t o i feed dot last read why I have written like that because the value coming from the server will be ASCII you have to convert it into integer I am converting it into integer and storing in a variable a now I will print that variable a now if it is 8 so what it will do it will make the uh, 0th pin as low I told you guys if you don't know why low then see the video with relay modules now I'll make it low to make make the LA, uh, your AC on if uh, I want my AC to be get switch off then the value is uh, digital write 0 comma high that's all for coding section if you have any doubts ask me in the comment section also don't worry guys the uh, coding the code is available in my personal web page go and download over there the link is in the description now let's see how your google assistant will understand what value to be sent to the adafu server like 8 or 9 i told you in the coding part so how your google assistant will send this value of 8 and 9 to the uh, adafu server so we can do it easily with the beautiful app called if triple t if this then that we have to provide this value as the google assistant and that value to the adafruit server i will uh, next let's see the video how we can do that so guys you can see that first we have to switch on our internet then we have to open the if triple t app it is easily available in play store you can go and download it so first we have to click on this then we have to search for google assistant 
remember guys for signing up with if triple t sign up with the same mail id uh, say a simple phrase i will say turn on led no sorry turn on the ac ac on you can say a third word also uh, also uh, now it will ask what it should reply you in return i'll say turning on sumit now choose the language english you can choose any language guys now in that portion you have to write for add a fruit because you want to store the numerical value in the adder food server now feed name will be instruction it will automatically clump no worries you have to store the value of 8 as i told you in program now save the data once it got loaded it received notification when this runs now let's see we'll open our google assistant oh, remember guys you have to keep your mail id same as of adafruit server and if triple t otherwise that instruction turning on summit after getting it run will get the notification automatically so that's all now remember guys the mail id should be same otherwise adafruit won't recognize which is in which feed the data should go automatically also make for nine also uh, line means uh, to turn off the ac if someone give commands like turn off the ac so it should stop automatically now if, uh, that's all for iot things everything is over i think so uh, if you have any doubts ask me in the below comment section also please do support for my channel like and subscribe and uh, thank you guys that's it have a fabulous day.